Oh, it's ready. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. We're in my favorite room of the entire house, the kitchen. That's where the magic happens. That's where all the goodness goes down. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I eat in a day to lose weight. Let's go. Yummy, 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 yummy. something super fast and quick then I will go for oatmeal. This is the Millville instant oatmeal variety pack. Maple and brown sugar, apple and cinnamon, basically anything I'm in the mood for. I am obsessed with fruit. My favorite fruit in the entire world is strawberries. I'll even throw in a banana. Bananas are really great for you and they're good snacks. I love to chop up strawberries and put it in my oatmeal. I love breakfast foods. Breakfast is probably my favorite meal in the entire day. Breakfast is ready. Mmm. So freaking good. Also, I make these egg cups um, and then I just throw them in a Tupperware. This was a batch of 10 eggs. I do um, fresh spinach in it, and then I'll throw in some feta if I'm feeling super fancy, and then a little bit of cheese. I know a lot of people struggle to eat breakfast because you're always on the move, so if you're one of those people that need something quick and easy, definitely go for that. All right, guys, so it is time for lunch. So I don't know about you guys, but I struggle with lunch the most. I literally never know what to cook. It's so hard. So some of the best things you can do is meal prep. Basically, this is called Monster Mash. This meal comes from Stan and Efforting's diet, it's called the vertical diet. It's amazing, Kyle started it about a year ago and he lost like 20 pounds. The entire concept of the diet is to eat foods that your body actually likes. Eating foods that are easy to digest and eating foods that won't aggravate your GI system. A lot of the foods that are included don't make you bloat. It's really easy for your body to digest and it's really just simple ingredients. If you have never meal prepped, I highly suggest it. I was totally against it because I don't like leftovers, but in this case, it's just really, really helpful when you wanna cut weight. eat this and binge watch America's Next Top Model. We're gonna have broccoli, sweet potato, and chicken with a creamy garlic butter sauce. But let's make it easy. So we're literally gonna pop the broccoli in the microwave and steam it, and then we're gonna pop the sweet potato in the microwave as well, and then air fry the chicken. If you don't have an air fryer, you know what to ask for for Christmas. All right, enough yapping, let's get cooking.
that beauty. Mmm. We love to eat outside for dinner. Mmm. Broccoli, so good. Sweet potato. My favorite. The reason I made this cream sauce is because I get kind of bored with chicken really easily, just grilled chicken. So I like to spice it up every once in a while. Okay, so we're gonna finish dinner, listen to the birds, enjoy the weather, and I will see you for snacks and dessert. So I'm about to show you how to make my favorite dessert ever. For the first dessert, you're gonna wanna cut up your strawberries. This is the Fit and Active Light Whipped Topping. It only has one gram of sugar and 20 calories. I'm gonna measure everything out and make sure I'm hitting all my macros. The last thing I'm gonna do is add the Hershey Simple Five. And there you go. Okay, so this is for the second dessert. Um, and so I just have a medium apple. I think this is a honey crisp apple, which is my favorite. It's so yummy, super juicy, and the sweeter the better. So what you're gonna wanna do is cut super thin slices. The last thing you're gonna do is sprinkle some cinnamon on top. While our dessert is doing its thing in the air fryer, I'm gonna talk to you guys about my favorite go-to snacks. I don't snack because your girl gets out of control. We are setting boundaries here. I only really do fruit. So for example, I'll do an apple, banana. We love these little cuties, they're so good. If I want something a little bit more salty, this has cashews, raisins, and sharp cheddar cheese. Another thing that's good for weight loss is cottage cheese. This is the low-fat cottage cheese, and I don't know if you guys know this, but cottage cheese has a ton of protein. I know they always say to track your calories. I'm eating 1,200 calories a day. I ate uh, 1,045 calories, so I had 169 left. You do wanna try to eat all of your calories. So basically losing weight is an equation, which makes a lot of sense about why I've been struggling because I hate math. I was horrible at math, but here we are. I'm burning roughly 2,000 calories a day. And if my calorie intake is 1,200 calories, I'm burning more than I'm consuming. I've learned the hard way that there is no way around it. There's no shortcut, there's no cheating. Literally the only way to lose weight is doing it the right way. Ooh, it's ready. I wish you guys could smell how good it smells in this house right now. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Woo! Am I a little dramatic about food? Yes. Will you love these? Absolutely. The number one thing that is helping me right now is tracking your calories. I know, I know, it's the worst thing in the world. I feel you. But honestly, once you just start doing it, it's not that bad at all. Also, another thing, Kyle and I have a scale. Another big thing that's helping me as well, no snacking. Like, I just go crazy and I want all the snacks. If I do snack on anything, it's fruits. Don't keep any soft drinks in the house. And that's another big thing is don't keep anything bad in the house. If I have cupcakes, Twinkies, Chips Ahoy, Guess where you're gonna find me? On the couch in a food coma. But if I keep fresh fruits, veggies, easy snacks, then I know I'm a lot more likely to stick to my diet. Another thing, you have to eat foods that you actually enjoy. If you don't, you're gonna get sick of it and you're gonna like throw in the towel and wanna go get Taco Bell. It's not like I'm speaking from experience or anything. Literally, I've done it. I try to eat things that I just have no interest in and doesn't taste good to me, but I know it's good for me. The best diet is the one that you're gonna stick to. So subscribe if you're new here. I love y'all already and I'm so thankful for you. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.